Hello once again everybody, this is a Drobiel for another episode of Might and Magic Jewel of Champions. I finished in the last game, uh, in the last video I finished doing the tutorial and I'm now about to do some of the campaign missions. Sounds strange having a campaign mission in a card game but I believe it's designed for you to practice the game before you start heading into leagues and tournaments and stuff like that. Uh, so moving on, let's get this going. Uh, I think it's under boot camp. The company of Windswords is ready to depart for Flamshine with, him, with its new recruits. A dangerously fragile border, the company of the Windswords have been hired by the Wolf Duchy to assist the forces of Siegfried Brightblade, Field Marshal of the Holy Empire. Their Preymaster sends them to defend the Duchy's borders. Begin. It is with great joy that I begin this new diary, telling of the deeds of the company with this phrase, Flamskrain Wolf Duchy. We are to meet Field Marshal Brightblade right here in this dark forbidden city known as the headquarters of the Saintly Inquisition. Windswords, I am Field Marshal Brightblade. You now serve the Saintly Empire and are under my command. The orcs have invaded the Pale Prairies and are terrorizing the inhabitants of the Free Cities. Wolf Duchy wishes to aid his neighbors if you have to repel the hordes of savages back to the mountains. Come back to me afterwards and report. The Field Marshal was right. A band of orc looters had descended into the valley and ransacked the free city of Red X Crossing, a routine mission, or so it seemed. The orcs pillaging Red X Crossings are disorganized. They pose no real threat as long as we hold position. Understood, soldiers? Let's go. Mulligan, all right, what do we got? Got a fortune card, it's handy, million fly creatures can attack creatures in the back line. Deal three damage to all creatures of target row. Immune to retaliation with charge, that guy's actually not too bad. I may have to play a mulligan on this one because I don't have any cards that cost only one. Unless I have something that can actually give me some... What's my event card? Yeah, I'll have to take a mulligan on this one. Oh, looks like it's my turn first for a change. Um, not a lot I can do, so first time around I'm just going to increase my might. I really can't play a card right now, so enter. Increases magic, plays gold pile, which gains two, uh, whatever they call that, resources. Alright, <laughs> uh, I really only have enough of this fortune card. Oh no, I've got two resources now, I can play something. It's an instant deal, three damage to all creatures of target row. Okay, that's not really going to help you right now. Um, looks like I'm going to need more might to play some creatures, so I'm going to increase might this time around. I suppose I could have used that to draw a card and then possibly played something, but didn't think of that beforehand. So I'll have to end turn for now. I'm really in no danger at the moment because he has no creatures out, so it was fairly safe to do that. He plays Rogue Mercenary. Must pay one to attack with Mercenary, so... He can only attack me if he's going to pay some resources, obviously. Alright, I should have enough resources now to play a champion, uh, to play a card, so... I have enough might, so I'm going to increase magic in case I need to use one of these spells that actually cost two. It's good that I actually have two of those. That thing's got two attack. I'm going to play something with a little retaliation to defend against that guy. Because he can attack me next round, and if he attacks, um, he'll do two retaliation damage back to that. Played my turn, so let's go. So, as suspected, he attacked with his mercenary and also played a shooter creature. Uh, shooter creatures can attack generally without retaliation, so uh, that's quite dangerous for me. So, I'm gonna have to hopefully take that thing out because that will kill that in its next shot. I do my for ongoing fortune card custom model play. Uh, 
that is actually a pretty handy card. Um, I could use that then to attack his card here, but I still won't do enough damage to kill it because it only does three attack. I am, however. First of all, let's just increase that. Actually, you know what? I can just kill that entire row off. I have to do that. Leave two resources. I can't play anything else right now. That was a bit of a risk because I killed my own creature, but it was going to die next round anyway. So I'm going to leave that at that. Unless he has a creature with quick attack. He's not going to be able to do anything. Except I don't know why that guy didn't die. Ah, oh, didn't do enough damage. That's okay, he only did a little bit. As you put here, another shooter in the back only does one damage. I'm not too scared about that. I could play that again and kill that entire row, and that'll make me fairly safe, but I want to get a blocker out for that creature. I've got five resources. Uh, get something out with fairly high HP against that guy. If I play that, that's going to die fairly quickly. Really put me in a bit of a bind here. Play that and play the crossbow. Archer there. I probably don't mean much mine, so I'll put some more magic in and turn. Wow, this guy's a lot of creatures. Sing it out, why not? Alright, he's not going to be able to kill that creature quickly, so... I'm going to play that down there. I need a blocker at the top. This guy's going to be able to take the most damage, and does retaliation damage, so he can go up there. actually attack the back row unless I play a card. I don't have the resources to play that. See if I attack with this guy now against that one, he's going to be able to do two retaliation damage and then he'll be able to take me out with that guy really easily, so I'll just leave him as a blocker for now. This guy has a lot of creatures. Keeps bringing them out. Was that he played? Till the end of turn, melee creatures can attack creatures in the back line. That's not very fun. Wow, this guy's owning me just seriously because of the amount of creatures that he's bringing out. <laughs> what a jerk. Uh, Alright. That guy has a lot of health, that's not bad. I'm going to draw a card just to see if I get anything better. I have a healer, that is actually not a bad idea. But what I'm going to do is kill all the creatures in that row. Well, i got four resources. Add that there. So it's a lot of retaliation, a lot of health.
This guy can take a hit. And I don't have enough fortune to play anything else. But good thing about this card, he has charge. He can deal damage to everything in the row. Um, as long as it doesn't take too much retaliation damage, I should be okay. And he's going to be able to do... What was that? No, I didn't even realize he was immune to retaliation, so that's good. If he even attacks with that guy, um, this creature will actually heal too at the start of my supply. So long as it survives. And so long as he doesn't play anything to kill it. No bags. My guy had retaliate. He still attacked with it, and my guy just killed it. Easy done. All right, I'm gonna have to check what cards I got here. Ten creatures receives half damage from shooter creatures around it down. That's actually not bad. That'd be good to put on a creature with a lot of health. play this so shoot in the back row. I'm fairly safe down the bottom because he's got nothing down there. I don't need to play anything there for now. I'm going to play this ongoing fortune card so every time he plays a card in the next turn he'll heal two damage. So I'm going to play that now. So hopefully he'll cast some spells and heal me up a bit. He's only got 10 health so he's just got so many creatures to block with that it just doesn't do much. Um, I just can't do much damage out. have a lot I can tack with right now, but I've still got three resources so I can play something. You can play the archer. And I keep forgetting to do this. Um, let's get some more might. This guy's going to do two retaliation damage. I'm going to leave that to block because if I do damage he's going to do two retaliation and bring me down to one health and then he can kill me in one shot. Although he can kill me in one shot anyway. So it might just pay to do this unless I play this card on him. Which I can't do so. I may as well make the attack. Oh that thing can't retaliate anyway. That's not bad at all. Alright, moving on. I keep forgetting about the event cards, you can use them at any time. They just cycle between eight different cards. He's just played an enchantment, enchant creature, enchant creature gains infect one. I have no idea what infect does. I'm sure I'll find out. There you go, he's just healed me back up to 20 because of my card. Every time an opponent plays a card, heal two damage. And he just keeps playing these cards, so I just keep... I just keep winning. Alright, now I'm starting to get somewhere. I'm starting to get a little more cards out than him. My only worry is if I run out of cards, but that shouldn't happen. Alright. I'm going to play this big beefy card in front of the one that heals every two every time. See what else I can get. Let's bring him out too. That's my resources done. Let's take him out. I can do exact damage. Sweet. As you already know, if you watched video one, you cannot attack the player until you've killed everything in the row, unless you deal direct damage. Um, but I haven't found any cards that do that yet, so moving on. I think with event cards as well, there's a risk of playing them. As you can see, each player draws a card, which means he can actually 
uh, by me playing that card, he can draw a card as well, um, which can give him something that he might want, which is not very good. Alright, so he's got my creature in the back row, I'm assuming he gave, it gave him something that can make it kill something in the back. I can just kill him right now, so I'm just going to play some cards. May as well draw another card. Cool. And that's a win by me. Wicked. Mission 1 complete. That was just insane the amount of cards that guy had. He just kept bringing up blockers so I just couldn't do much damage. I was lucky in the end that I had some cards that I could block all his damage with because uh, he just kept killing my creatures. Alright, mission 1 complete. Probably got time for another one without the video being too long so I'll play the next mission. Recruits, it's time that you met Officer Vane. He will explain your tactics to you. Do as he says, it will keep you alive. The hell is that guy? Thank you, Captain. The survivors told us that the bandits came from the River Serpentine. That is where we are going. Hear that, soldiers? We continue towards the east and shall set up camp near the river. Forward! I think I just changed that guy's voice again. Alright, let's go for one more. Following Kieran's orders, we set up our first camp near the water's edge. Night fell when suddenly we found ourselves a target of enemy projectiles. Soldiers, enemy fire from the river. Crack hack, crag hack may have taken us by surprise, but this attacks are, but his attacks are not very effective. Driving towards the middle of the river, that will make it even harder for him to attack. Let's go. So far, I'm finding this game uh, pretty fun. We'll um, see how it goes later on, whether it's going to be like uh, pay to win or whatever. But I'm basically going to go through the campaign, then start playing uh, some online tournaments, not tournaments, but with other people. See what cards I got. Deal two damage to all enemy creatures. That can be handy. Heal, heal three damage from target creature. That's a good card to have. Less air elemental. Yep, cool. Alright, so I've only got one creature that I can play at the moment. Um, you know what? I'll risk it. Let's keep this card. This hand. Oh wow, he starts off with creatures? I did not realize that. That's not very nice. Uh, I'm going to increase my because I'm going to need it. I did not realize he started off with creatures out. That is, that is dangerous. Draw a card, or if an opponent has more creatures on the battlefield than you, gain four of them. Ooh, that could be handy. So I can get my big creatures out right away. But I need more might for that. So I might have to wait to play that one. some form of damage to this thing. We'll take down that first one. What do we get? Every time an opponent plays a card, heal two damage from your hero. I 
have enough might for one of my bigger creatures, so I might cast that card. Oop, oh, I cast the wrong card. Um, and I don't have enough for that one. That's not very nice. Uh-oh. Oh, well, I need to get some blockers out. So I might do that for a little more income. That way you can't kill it. This card, what it actually does is gives me more resource at the start of my supply phase, so that'll be one extra that I can cast with. So as long as you cast some cards here, I'm going to heal up. Bit of a waste to do it this early on. As you can see, he's just took all that damage off again. Deal six damage to target creature. That could be handy down the track. So I can draw a card or gain four. I think I'm going to gain four. Increase my might so I can play one of my biggest cards. That's pretty much all I can do with my resources next. got a lot of cards that have two damage, I'm going to probably play this card. Oh, I don't actually have the resources for it. Never mind. I need to soak some damage here. This does not bode well. Now I've got some creatures out to block, he won't be able to do so much damage to me. So here's hoping that we'll actually be okay. <laughs> Alright. These guys, I'm in no danger, so I can kill that. Kill that. More creatures. Okay, that is actually pretty scary. I'm not going to be able to kill that very quickly. Enchant line. Until your next turn, creature of the enchanted line can't attack once I've been into battlefield to one damage or creature of the enchanted line. That is actually pretty handy right now. I need something that heals me. That's not very nice. I can't uh, play both those cards at once. That would be very handy. Let's just see how much danger I'm in. Can't kill me with any of those, so what I'm going to do is going to block those creatures from attacking, deal one damage to them, and I'll save my big attack for next time. 
this guy can actually kill through all of them, so... Let's just kill all that whole line. Ah, that guy actually has a lot of health. Whoa, I didn't realize how powerful that is. That's a good thing I stopped that guy from actually doing stuff. He's actually going to kill me with that thing. So do I take the damage? No, because he'll kill it, so I'm going to have to use that as a blocker. His turn. This is still not looking good. On the plus side, he only has fairly weak creatures, so they're not being able to kill my blockers too easily. That creature survived, that's not too bad. Six damage to target creature. I'm gonna use that straight away. Take out that guy. He was a bit of a pest. What's this guy? Resource hole. It means I get another creature. creature. He's a flyer so he can take the back row. Surviving on four health, all I needed him to do is run out of creature cards. That's alright, did some retaliation damage, he only did one damage to me and he just healed himself up, so alright. It's cool bros, I got this. Let's see, two, three is five, plus nine, plus three, yep, so I can just do two damage to all creatures, enemy creatures, and then just attack him. Yes! That was a close call, but I ended up doing it in the end. Wow, talk about getting some choice cards at the end. Craig Hack. Hey there. Let's calm things down, Mayor Men. I think this may be a case of mistaken identity. If I'm not mistaken, you are in fact not looters after all. Am I right? Garand is a soldier, not a looter. Yeah, okay, if you say so. Listen, men. Let's let bygones be bygones, okay? This is all a big misunderstanding. Looking at your shabby clothes, it's hardly surprising we mistook you, f mistook you for never-do-wells. 
Alrighty, that's all we have time for for episode two. Um, stay tuned for episode three where I'll continue doing the campaign and I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. If you have any questions about the game or want to join me, please comment below and I'll provide some details to catch me on and, and let us know. So thank you very much for watching. This is Adrobial and good night.